Hi, hello, namaskara to all CA intermediate students. I hope you are all set to go for group 2 cost and management accounting in this short video. I am planning to cover all that you need to do one or one and a half days before your cost and management accounting paper. First, make sure that you are good with all the basics. Cost sheet topic, material, labor, overhead including ABC. Make sure that you spend enough time on these because these are basic level topics, introduction level topics. Last three topics of our syllabus, marginal costing, standard costing and budget, they can test you even in CA final. They are management accounting topics. They can test your knowledge on those topics even in final. But the basics, material, labor, overhead, cost sheet and activity based costing, they will ask maximum questions at inter level itself. So the order of priority, first and foremost, cost sheet. Material, labor, overhead, immediately activity based costing. Do not ignore activity based costing because it's a small topic. Many students think it's not important from exam point of view, totally wrong. That's a small topic, but you see last five attempt question paper, every attempt they have asked questions on ABC and ABC is normally an easy question compared to overhead topic. Therefore, please don't ignore even if it is a very small topic. So, this is first segment. Next, coming to process costing and joint and by product. Joint and by product is an easier and a smaller topic. Again, not to be ignored, especially problems where you have whether further processing is to be done or not. Such questions, please spend time. Theory in joint and byproduct is very important. They can ask you treatment on byproduct, treatment of byproduct, and they can ask you methods of apportionment of joint cost. These are two commonly asked theory questions. Not to ignore theory, please. And after this, process costing has to be done without fail. Even if you don't have time for process costing, go through the basics. I have given you one full page in the class material. What are the varieties of questions they can ask in process costing? Eight variety and in class itself, in the textbook itself, you have made a note of how to solve those questions. Go through that page without fail. Yep. And in process costing, there is one theory, inter-process profit, advantages and disadvantages. Don't miss that. Either I can ask inter-process profit practical question or a theory question, the advantage and limitations. Then. Coming to service costing, very easy topic, very simple topic. Make sure you don't leave this question in exam. Most of the times it will be transportation related question. It will be easy and simple. You can read the whole question paper. You get the question paper 15 minutes before you get the answer booklet. Wherever service costing question is there, make sure you attend it first. Job and batch costing, easy, don't ignore. Especially batch costing has that EBQ formula. That can be a good MCQ type question in exam. Okay, job costing is easy, similar to cost sheet, you can go a little fast in job cost, no problem. Cost accounting system, make sure you do at least one or two questions with respect to reconciliation of profit. Easy to understand, you have a profit as per cost accounting and profit as per financial accounting and the reconciliation type of questions in the class also we have done. Make sure at least one sum with loss is revised by you because students revise profit to profit reconciliation. But in the exam, it can be loss to profit or loss to loss. Okay, And also, there is that memorandum reconciliation account that has to be prepared. Same statement is prepared in a ledger format. At least one sum of reconciliation account, you practice and go. And coming to the second part of the topic, the journal entries. If you understand how to prepare journal entries, ledger, trial balance, p &L will be easy. So, the focus one day before exam is to understand all journal entries. All starting from raw material purchase up to goods sold and sales return. There are about 25 journal entries that we have done in class. Go through all those journal entries without fail, including the journal entries for abnormal transactions like loss of stock by theft, etc. What is the entry to be done? Even that I want you to go through because that journal entry itself can be a multiple choice question. Yeah. Next, budget, marginal, and standard. Do budget and standard together because they can create a question clubbing these two budget you prepare the budget and then that is compared with the actuals and that itself is what you do in standard costing they can club and in budget when you are solving a sum there are questions with rm stock adjustment and fg stock adjustment both and then there are some questions where you do two fgs using two different raw materials 
one or two such tough questions you revise and go other questions you'll be able to handle in budget theory is as important as practical sums please revise all theories without fail there is activity based budgeting there is performance based budgeting there is zero based budgeting there is budget versus forecast there is fixed budget versus flexible budget there is budget manual there is master budget and functional budget there are too many things and what is budgetary control itself can be a theory question theory of budget topic has to be studied with little extra seriousness marginal costing revise all the formulas do some reverse working questions and decision making especially questions on whether to continue or discontinue and whether to accept a particular price or not and break even and other things i know you will anyway revise but make sure one someone composite break even point or combined break even point to practice more than one product two different selling price and two different variable cost such questions make sure you do at least one and then there is one small concept related to both service costing and marginal costing called cost indifference point at least one sum on that revise and go and in marginal costing last but not the least there is this concept called key factor where you have shortage of resources and how to select the products when there is shortage of either machine r or labor availability or raw material that question that we have done in the class is important and key factor can also be a very good theory question before i close this video one more important theory from standard costing cost control versus cost reduction many many times they have asked this question make sure you spend 2 3 minutes and revise that also before going to the examination all right thank you so much and i have already shared the formula book with all of you you can use that one day before the examination and any revision chapter wise if you want all of that is available on yashas academy youtube channel the link to all those chapter wise revision videos will also be shared in the description below all right thank you so much do well bye bye